Hey y'all, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the Madison Miller brush set. I got these in an Ipsy offer. Go figure. They're from the brand SL Miss Glam. I'll link that website down below. They have cute brushes on the website. There's like unicorn brushes. There's really cute brushes, but they're kind of expensive. What also caught my eye is um, Madison Miller is one of the creators of Ipsy and she also has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link her channel down below if y'all want to see any of her videos. She's super cute. She is super honest about reviews that she does on certain products and I enjoy watching her videos. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my videos I post during the week. And if you want to know what I think of the Madison Miller brushes, just keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my eyes as you can tell and I've put my lashes on because because there's no eyeshadow brushes in this set. So this is, actually there is one eyeshadow brush, but that's towards the end of the video. It looks, Rue, <gasps> she is scratching herself like hardcore. So the set looks like so super cute. Reminds me of like a little Tiffany's box thingy. I don't have any Tiffany's jewelry, but this is what it reminds me of. I've seen it on TV. I'll read it super quickly. It says, inspired by the prettiness of Tiffany and Co. There you go. And made for one of my all-time favorite glam girls, Madison Miller. This beauty brush set brings together Madison's most loved color teal plus gold glam sparkles. It includes Madison's must-have brushes, W06 tapered brush and W14 concealer. She keeps on set on her vanity and another in her purse. Madison fans, these brushes are made just for you. Cute. So I got this in an Ipsy offer. I just want to tell you how much I paid for it because the retail price is like 70 freaking dollars. And Hell no did I pay $70. Y'all, I got this set for $25. Like, have I said that I love Ipsy? Have I? Okay. Anyways, 25 bucks for this. I will link down below the website where you can get this for 70 bucks if you really want to buy this for 70 bucks. If it was retailing on the Ipsy offers for 70 bucks, I would not have bought it. I mean, it's cute, but it's not, it's not worth $70. I'm sorry. But anywho, Super cute, has a little bow. Didn't want to open it yet because I wanted y'all to see the cute packaging because it is super cute. Whenever I open the box, I'm like, dang, I was not expecting cute packaging. I was just expecting a box of brushes. Okay, this one. So it comes with a powder brush, a foundation brush, a highlight blush brush. I think that's a blush brush. I'll have to check on that. A concealer brush and then an angled brush. What first caught my eye with these brushes was the teal color because that's the color that my wedding colors were. So it caught my eye and they're super cute. They have like little diamonds on the brushes if you can't see it. Super, super cute. But yeah, okay, so we're gonna start with the MO2 Full Foundation Brush. Looks like so. It's kinda mm, similar to my IT Cosmetics brush except for it's not as big. My IT Cosmetics brush is right here. So there is similarities, but there's also differences. So, so we shall see if I like this brush. I use this brush to blend out my foundation and I use nothing but this brush. So we'll see if this one can compare. So I'm going to prime my face really quick with the One Heck of a Blot Primer by Soap and Glory. And for foundation, I'm going to be using the All Nighter Foundation by Urban Decay, and this is in the shade 0.5. Okay, let's see if you can meet the expectations that my IT Cosmetics brush does. Sorry, I had to smell it because I was getting that close. They smell like new. If you wanted to know. You know what? Okay, the more I use it, the more I like it. I feel like it's blending it good. It's not leaving lines on my face from the bristles. I am kind of sad that they're going to get dirty really fast because obviously they're white with a turquoise tip, so that sucks. So I, I like this brush. I, I like it. I don't really have complaints. Um, at first I didn't feel like it was blending it out very good, but this foundation is kind of hard to blend out anyways. It is super thick and um, a little goes a long way, but I, I like that it doesn't leave any lines on my face. It blended it out super good. So this brush I'll be using. I like it. I'm going to put some corrector on my, under my eyes really quick before we go on with the next brush. So my next brush, I don't know if I'm going to be using it for my, I'll just not even going to say it right now. I'll say what the brush is. So this is the M05 concealer brush. Nice little paddle brush. It can probably be used for eyeshadow. 
which I might try in the future, but today I am gonna try doing my concealer on my under eye. I don't use a brush, obviously. If y'all have been on my channel since day one, you know I use my Beauty Blender for my under eye. So I'm gonna try it for my under eye, and if it doesn't work, I am going to fill in my eyebrows and then clean up with this. So I'm gonna put my concealer on really quick. I'm gonna be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and this is in the shade Fair. And I think I'm just gonna kinda dot it around and if I did end up going a little heavy on my concealer I'm just gonna blend the rest of it out with the beauty blender if the brush doesn't work why do I keep dropping everything I don't know I just don't do my concealer with the brush so I was already unhappy going in with the brush to begin with I don't know what to say uh, I don't, I, no, I, no, no. Okay, so I don't like it with my concealer. So I'm just gonna finish blending this out with my Beauty Blender really quick and then we'll go on to the next brush. So the next brush is the M01 Fluffy Powder Brush. I am debating on what, what to use this for. So when I set my face, I usually just use the Beauty Blender with the loose powder and then I just sweep it away with my crown brush and they, they're kind of similar. Um, this one's more fluffier. That one is more kind of tapered feeling. I'm gonna set my face in a minute and I think I'm just gonna use this brush to wipe it away. But I also think I'm gonna use this brush as a bronzer brush. I don't know. Why do I keep smelling it? So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder and I am going to use my Beauty Blender and set my face really quick. I mean, it is really like fluffing out today. Usually I don't really inhale this stuff. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and use the M01 Fluffy Powder Brush to wipe it away, see if we like it or not. Okay. I really love, I, I love it already, just the first sweep. It's really soft on the face. Sorry, I didn't mention that about the foundation brush either. It's really soft. All these brushes are super soft. Okay, um, I love this. I love this brush for sweeping the powder away. So next I'll use it as a bronzer brush. I am excited to use it as a bronzer brush because it is super soft. Like, I can't even tell you like how soft it is. Like, So I'll just go ahead and use my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. <sighs> my Butter Bronzer by Physicians... Why can't I say this word today? Butter Bronzer by Physician's Formula and bronze my face up with that brush. Just swirl it around like so. This is a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like it. Sorry, IBY Beauty Bronzer Brush. You're gonna kick rocks because this one has taken your place. I absolutely love it. I feel like it just blends the product out so easily. Like, oh my gosh. So easily, so flawlessly. A plus, ooh. Okay, so the hairs kind of come out. I, I mean, I wasn't pushing that hard. So that sucks. One, this is the second one. Third. I just wanna show you my IBY Beauty brush just in case you're new to my channel and this is the first video you're watching. I usually use this brush. It's differently shaped than this one and it's a powder brush. It doesn't really have an, it just says IBY Beauty so there's no name, but I just use it for bronzer. It's nice and fluffy and I, I love the way the bronzer applies when I use it. But dang, this one, like, oh my gosh, like this is just so soft to the face. I feel like, I feel like just putting it on, it just goes on flawlessly and it feels like it's going on flawlessly. Like, I'll definitely be using this as a bronzer brush as opposed to a setting powder brush. Okay, on to the next brush. The next brush is the M03 Tapered Blush Brush. I, I like to use blush brushes that are like this. They're kind of like an angled brush. So I think I'm gonna use this more as a highlight when I use it in the future, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use it as a blush brush on one side and then the other side I'm gonna use as a highlight just to see what I like more out of this brush. And I also just wanted to compare these brushes as well. So I'm gonna be comparing the IT Cosmetics Highlight Brush um, to this one. Super similar. So as you can see, this brush is a little 
bigger as far as width goes. Is it length or width? It's width. Yeah, right? Width. As far as width goes, it's a little bigger. But if you just shrink this one a little bit, they're the same thing. I feel like I'm going to be using this as a highlight brush more than a blush brush, but we're just going to try it out. So I'll go in with the hick- I'm just going to say hickory. I don't even know. I'll go in with the hickory blush in the shade Cameo. So there we go. Got some on my brush. I don't know what to say. Golly, look at this. I don't know if y'all can see, but that blush is super powdery. I'm going super lightly. This blush is no joke. Okay, I think I underestimated this brush. It's nice. I like it. Super quickly, I'm gonna fill in my brows and then we'll go with the highlight. Free by Jane Ardell. And then we'll go on. I am going to set my face really quick with the Smell the Roses setting spray by Jane Ardell, and then we'll go on with the highlight. And if y'all noticed, I am wearing different eyelashes because I had a malfunction with the one on my left eye. This one was perfect. This one didn't want to stay on. Like, really? And this glue that I've been using is super awesome, and I have not had a complaint, but today I have had a complaint. We won't even get into that. The eyelashes won that battle, um, yeah. So with the opposite side of this brush, I'll be dipping into the Smashbox Casey Holmes collab, and I, I think I wanna use this color. So this is in the shade Turn It On Pearl, and I'm gonna use that and see how this works as a highlight brush. Okay, picks up pretty good. I'll be using this as a highlight brush for sure because I like the way it's applying. I like the way it feels. It feels exactly like my It Cosmetics brush. And I'm just going to go in with Blow a Fuse Pearl um, and put that on my Cupid's bow and my nose. Yeah, definitely, whoops, <laughs> definitely like this brush more as a highlight brush as opposed to a blush brush. I might still use it as a blush brush, but if I'd have to choose, I definitely highlight. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. So I want to go back in with this concealer brush and kind of carve my eyebrows out just a teeny bit. Well, we're just going to do bare minimum, but I just want to see if this brush works as, you know, a cleanup brush. So let me zoom y'all in really quick. And I'll just go in with the Jane Iredale Circle Delete 2, and I'm going to use that white side and put a little bit on my brush. Got some on there. It's dirty from the other concealer, so there's not as much on there as you think. So I'll just kind of cover up the brows and see what happens. So definitely a brush for the brows for sure. I like the sturdiness of it. I have a crown brush that I normally like clean up with and it's not as sturdy, it's pretty flimsy. So this is pretty sturdy and I like it. Okay, yeah, this is a good brush, especially for the eyebrows, not concealer under my eye. Sorry, that's just not me. Let me zoom y'all out really quick. But yeah, I like this brush. I don't normally carve my eyebrows out. I mean, I just kind of did bare minimum, but this is so good. We'll go on with the bottom lash line now because the next brush is just a cute little tiny thing and this is the MO4 Small Angled Eye Brush. <laughs> really small. Looks like so. I have a brush similar to this already that I, I seldom use. Lately I've just been using the Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush, but we'll see how this one works. So I'm just going to dip into the Carly by Bella palette and I will just use a few transition colors. So I'm going to use... So I'll use this shade and then go in with this shade. I'll go in with this shade. So I'm going to... So now I'm just going to dip into the I Want It All palette and I'll just go in with the shade Midnight to finish the bottom lash line. When I used to do my makeup in high school, I never used to blend out the bottom lash line when I put eyeshadow on it. Let me know if you want to see a video on how I used to do my makeup in high school. I don't know if you'll want to see it. Ugh. I was a mess. Anyway, so I'm just going to blend it out with the blending brush really quick by Elizabeth Mott. Okay, so my battery died probably because the whole entire video I had eyelash problems because my eyes will not stop watering. Anywho, my favorite brush 
was the M01 Fluffy Powder Brush. I love how seamlessly it blended out my bronzer. I love how it just applied my bronzer. I love everything about this brush. It worked so good. I'll probably be using it every day. My poor IBY Beauty brush is going to collect dust. But this is such a good brush. So a plus. My least favorite brush will probably be the M03 Tapered Blush Brush, um, only because I have similar brushes like this already, so it's just another one to add to my collection, which is fine. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying that it's nothing special, it's nothing different, the feeling's not different, the way it applies is not different from the other brushes that are similar to this one. But if I had to choose, it would be my least favorite. So that completes my review on the Madison Miller brush set. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see y'all in my next video.